Hey guys, welcome back to another sketchbook tour. So I'm not gonna say too much for the first half of this sketchbook, if only because my commentary towards myself is literally just, you need to take your time. Spend more time on your sketches, spend more time on your inking, and actually take your time and put in the effort and things will turn out better. These were reference drawings with brush pen. I really like those ones. Like there's a lot of stuff that says like, I'm bad at art or there's like little rants and stuff. And it's like, I'm not bad at art. It's just that I'm trying to rush out drawings that like, they, I just, if I spent more time and actually put in the effort, then it, things would turn out okay. I like this page. Like, it's like, like this stuff is, I just, I tried to draw stuff too quickly and it becomes disappointing and then it becomes frustrating because nothing I'm doing is turning out good, but it's not that I'm bad at art, it's that I'm trying to go at a speed that I don't have the skill set for yet. I like this one, I wish I finished it. Like, there's no excuse for his broken foot. <laughs> this one's nice. His feet are broken again, but like this page is nice. I like this one and this one. These ones weren't from reference, which is why this man is broken. I don't draw eyes like that anymore, but I was trying to do different kinds. Like this is one of those instances where I was trying to do an Inktober drawing, full page, in like, what, 15 minutes of inking? Yeah, that's not gonna happen, buddy. You need to chill out. The Derwent graphic line maker is not waterproof, by the way. You can, like, this is what I mean. The last one, this, these, these are something I would consider okay sketches, right? Like, they aren't amazing, this is broken, but it, it gets a point across. These, I tried to do the same night, but I tried to do them really quick, and then, same with, like, this page, like, just put in the effort. Metaton. I, I do like this page. I like this one. So this is kind of the page that I realized I have creativity issues because that is the same layout. I tried doing studies and then I got bored. I really like this one though. And this is about where the sketchbook actually gets effort so this one actually ended up being a finished piece, as in I taped down a piece of paper and actually did something to completion. This one was going to be, but the ink bled. I like doing like geometric shapes in the background lately. It's where the art resolutions, which is produce more finished works traditionally. Six sketchbooks, step out of comfort zone, which is three quarter man facing left, boring expression and for is dedicate time to studying anatomy and gesture drawing a minimum of 20 minutes each day. I do start trying to do, so everything else in this book is from December. This is four months worth. This is the same amount, but it's done in one month. So immediately I go back to the portraits, but like something like this is something I consider valid for this because there's more going on to it and I did put effort into adding color palettes, which is good. I think this I could have put more effort into, but otherwise, like, you can see what I'm going for. Observational stuff. I do like this one. Oh, uh, these were from <laughs> this is ridiculously large sweater, and I don't know, I thought it was funny. This is OC stuff, like, this is what I mean, like, this, it's a sketchbook. Start doing more. This is for a couple characters. This is John. He's a medic for a group. Seldrin, this page is ugly, but Seldrin's their like warrior guy. There's another guy named Everick 
who shows up. I wanted to try drawing like stuff of them interacting and there's no excuse for him not having legs. Like there is space on the canvas, but for whatever reason I decided he doesn't need legs. Nothing exciting. I really like these. They were cute. I really like this one. It's just, I liked it. That's it. <laughs> Koroks. Because I wanted to do a painting and then I never actually did a painting. Just 3D stuff. Like this is the kind of stuff I want to do more of in my sketchbook because I don't know. I like this one. I have a soft spot for it, okay? I really like these two pages. I did them during a live stream. They were observational for the sketch and then I lined and colored everything separate at the end or something. I can't quite remember. I just know I didn't follow the refs entirely. Same with these. This one was a redraw of an old piece that I did when I just started inking again last year. There is some definite improvement on it. There's like some issues I find, like his hand's a little wonky there. But otherwise I think I did really well and my inking has got a lot cleaner than before and I definitely understand form better. This was just- I saw a cool coat on Pinterest and decided to design a guy to put into it. I like this one. Again, it's a three-quarter portrait, but it's actually something going on. I really like this one. I actually really like this whole page, but I really liked this one and I'm kind of disappointed with myself that I tried to make it edgy instead of just fixing his face. I like this one too. Just some stuff to fill up the page. I feel like I could have done better on this one, but sometimes that's how it be. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully I'll see you soon because I have a watercolor one that I'm going to finish up, which I'm actually happy with. I will say lots of good things in that one instead of... Yeah. <laughs> okay. You guys have a happy new year. Bye-bye.